there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another Reddit story for you. This one is titled, Am I the Askinaut for telling my kids that if they don't go to my wedding, I will not be attending their wedding? I'll start at the beginning. My ex-husband was a good father, but a terrible husband. I divorced him when my oldest was 14 and youngest was 10. Well, he ended up spiraling and the kids were exposed to that. I was blamed for ruining dad. He got better after a few years, but ended up doing it again when he learned that I was dating. So the kids kept trying to get me not to date since it will affect their dad. It was an awful time since to the kids, I was responsible for what he did and reacted to things. I'm red flagging that because that's bullshittery bullshittery and i'm sure his narrative was blaming you for 100 percent of it too which is just bullshittery in the end i just kept my dating on the low end which wasn't hard since it wasn't introducing the kids to the men anyways all i had to change was not posting on social media also yes i sent the kids to therapy they all stopped when they hit 18 or my middle child refused to talk so i pulled him The oldest is now 25 and the youngest is 21 and I got proposed to. I sat them down and told them they were not happy and were pissed that I was doing this to dad. Lots of talk later and I thought it was good. The wedding is in two weeks. I got a text from all of the kids saying that they will not be at my wedding, that they need to support dad during this time. I had enough and texted them that if they don't want to go to my wedding, it will damage our relationship and I will not be attending their own weddings when they get married. They were pissed and it started an argument and all of them think that I am a huge jerk. I truly hate that I can't do anything that makes me happy since it will affect my ex. There is an update, but let's chat for a second. Dude, this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh no, I I think I'm spiraling again. Your mother must be dating somebody. (sighs) He knows exactly what he's doing. Your kids are getting played and they're allowing it to happen. That's the part that needs to stop here. It is not this 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 little window into one tiny isolated incident. This is a whole big picture where your kids are pawns and your ex-husband is the one pulling the strings on all of this shit. He's using them to control you, even in adulthood. Wow. Wow. How have you not sat down with him yet and been like, hey, kids, don't you see what's happening here? Don't you find it odd that he was a terrible husband, but now is like, can't handle the fact that I'm happy and moving on? Why wouldn't he just try to focus on being happy himself? You ever thought about that? You ever thought about how you guys get deployed as little minions to do his bidding and also quit giving him intel and also quit paying attention to the tantrums? It cannot be your fault. Your happiness cannot have an inverse relationship with his happiness. It does not work like that. He is the one making it happen that way. And they have to somehow detach themselves from that narrative because they're going to be pawns their entire fucking lives. Sorry about that. Does dad spiral whenever they have happy, healthy relationships? Is it just anybody having happy, healthy relationships? Or is it just you? Because he can't stand to face the consequences of his own actions of being a shitty husband for so long and then seeing you successful with someone else. Is that what he can't handle? Is that the case? Bullshittery. There are people who rise by lifting others, and there are people who push other people down to make it seem like they've risen. And that's what these people are. Rather than try to actually climb, rather than actually try to improve, rather than actually try to find their own happiness, they would rather just shove everybody else down just a little bit so they can stay right where they are and make it feel like they're higher up. What a lazy bullshit way to live. I'm sorry, but this this pisses me off real bad. (sighs) weaponizing children is a bullshit ass con one move period doing it for this long and using adult children this way and using it to suppress the happiness of your ex is just exponentially amplified bullshit all right update time ready here we go here's the update i realized i am okay letting them go i can't do it anymore i sent a text that it's up to them if they go or not if they do go i hope to fix this relationship. If not, I'm just done. I can't keep playing this game. It's for everything. Anytime I have something good, his feelings have to come first. I can't do that anymore. It hurts too much. I could tell them everything he has done, but I don't feel like blowing up their image of him. Hold up. Why? 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 Why don't you feel like blowing up their image of him? Clearly, their image of him is the thing that has the relationship with you and them 
teetering on the on the brink of of nothing. What do you have to lose by telling them the truth? Update two: someone private messaging me convinced me to lay it all out for them. So I said it and sent every single thing, including this post. Yes, yes, it's time. She's unleashed everything. (laughs) Well, I got my response. They called me a liar. (sighs) Even with showing old screenshots that were in our divorce case. I think it's over. Thanks to everyone that tried to help. I think I knew this was a no-win situation. No, it was a win situation. And here's the deal. (sighs) She let the brainwashing go on for too long. But here's the equation, I think. She let the, the... Candy Thunder Dusty's on an emotional roller coaster with this one. I am high highs and low lows, right? I think this is the equation here. You can't look at a situation where someone has been brainwashed for a long amount of time. And then, and let's say this is the amount of time that they've been brainwashed for. Okay. And then here is the one moment that she stood her ground and tried to make it right. And she's like, oh, well, I tried. I think you're going to have to try for an equal amount of time to undo the brainwashing that's happened because it's been so strong for so long and you've let it happen for so long. This isn't at this point as much about what he's done. It's about undoing what he's done. And it's about what you're willing to do to still have a relationship with your children. And yes, it sucks, but you didn't tell them the truth sooner. You let it linger so that 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 seed is planted Deeply, They're, the roots that he has for this manipulation are sown so deep that it is going to take time. Don't give up. Do not. I, I whatever. But in your shoes, I would play the long game here and be like, look, it's going to suck for a while. It's going to suck for a while. And they're going to choose not to be at my wedding. And we're going to have we're going to have some damage here for a while. We're not going to have a good relationship for a while, but eventually they're going to come around. And I'm not going to waver from the truth from this moment forward. It is 100 percent the truth. And like it or not, it is what it is. And eventually they'll come to terms with that. And eventually your relationship will get better for that. Don't give up on them. I think the truth is a beacon here and you just have to stay strong with that. It would have been much better if you did that from the very beginning instead of letting them get hoodwinked this whole time. But you didn't. So now you have that kind of detriment to deal with. Now it's going to be harder because of that choice. You can't protect your kids from everything, especially as adult kids. There are some lessons that you just have to let them learn the hard way. And I think this is one of them. You have your truth. They will figure it out. I forget what even the freaking initial question here it was. Am I the astronaut for telling my kids that if they don't go to my wedding, I will not be attending their wedding? No, uh, you're not the asshole for that. Because I feel like that was the play that you had at the time. I feel like this was the beginning of planting your flag. I wish it would have happened much sooner. Like years and years and years and years and years ago. But you finally did it. Uh, but now at this point, I think it is a... Um, I would just encourage you to not give up on them. Yes, this battle is going to sting and it's going to feel like a loss. But but play the long game here. Because you have the truth. And eventually, they're going to see that. And, and when they do, I think it is just... It's going to be a, a, a matter of do they feel welcome to reach out to you and be like, I'm so sorry. Do they feel welcome to rekindle a relationship with you? Do, do they feel like there's fertile ground there for a fresh start? Or do they feel like they've been shut out of your life forever because of the bullshit that they bought into? And I would just hope that there's an open door if and when that time comes when they realized how bad they and it's, it's simply a, I have the truth. When you're ready to accept that, I'll be here. If you can't handle seeing me be happy, tell him to quit looking. The truth will set you flee. For, flee. Words are free. I said the truth will set you flee. That's where I'm at in life right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get that as a t-shirt.